Hello and welcome to my Ever Webinar review. In this, I'm going to show you the process and give you a walkthrough when it comes to setting up your automated and evergreen webinar presentation. If you would like to follow along or simply grab Ever Webinar, I will leave my link in the description. And if you stay till the end, I'm going to show you how you can get a trial with Ever Webinar so that you can actually try it first before you actually make the purchase. Let's begin. So obviously first, what you want to do is create a new webinar. And what I'm going to do here is with this, we can use an external video file or we could use a previous webinar in our jam live session so in case you're not familiar genesis digital is the company they have webinar jam and they have ever webinar this is mostly for live webinars ever webinar is going to be for automated so that's why it shows webinar jam i can just toggle back and forth between which one i want to use because i have both but for this i just quickly uploaded a demo video i'm going to put it in right here for the format and like, like I said, very quick, I just did one that I could just do as a quick test for you to make it easier. And every time you go through this, you simply want to click save. So following the process of getting up and running is pretty straightforward. You go through each section and then you go across, you edit it, tweak it to your liking and continue. So we have some basic settings here. Give me one moment. All right, so just as an example, the webinar name is going to be a private title for you, just so you know what it is, but the regular title that most people are going to see, how to start building, grow your online biz without all the hype, all the tips and tricks that work today. And for this, if you want to add a webinar thumbnail, you can do that. For a lot of the basic things that are easy to do, like click here and upload an image, I'm just going to kind of go over because it doesn't really need to be explained too much, right? We can save this and then go to the webinar moderators. All right, and for this, in case you want to add some more, you can always add some more roles. So if you have someone else uh, and you want to go and moderate that, yes, you can do that. It's really going to be up to you, but that's pretty basic, right, for the host and the moderator. Let's save and go to the next step. All right, and so now we make it to the schedules. I think you're going to really like this part, especially for the fact that it is very flexible. So what you can do on every day or on day or on every day. So for example, if you want to have your webinar running every single day. You can select specific time, obviously. Say we wanted to do at 12 p.m. is gonna be fine there and we can add. Okay, then we also wanna do every day at, say we wanna do one or maybe four or five, whatever it's going to be, right? You can just obviously go through and choose that. You can also choose to do other enabled things right here, which is gonna be very helpful. You can do enable instant watch replay. So this is known as webinar on demand. This is probably a really good one where someone can just say, watch the replay now, because if they arrive on the page and they wanna get in right away, instead of say waiting till tomorrow or another day, you can enable that as well. You can allow late attendance. So the purpose of this feature is to let people join on an already running webinar instead of forcing them to wait for the next one. So that's also a good one in case you wanna get people on quicker. You can also do the just in time option. So this feature mimics a scenario where the registrant arrives to the registration page just a few minutes before the webinar is about to start. So it's always like about to get started. So that if you wanna utilize that as well, you can display the next three immediate available schedules. Like it's very flexible as you can see. It'll say like, do you just wanna do one or just two, whatever it's going to be there. All right, you can block short-term registrations in case you know, you just don't want someone signing up like immediately, whatever it's going to be. You can block holidays as you can hear, some of the major ones, like maybe you wanna block your birthday. I don't think that's going to matter as much, but major holidays, it's really up to you. I like the fact that it's just very flexible how you can really go in and just have it be running anytime you want. That's the beauty of an evergreen webinar or an automated webinar is that you can set it up whenever you want and it's going to run obviously as a replay. So you don't have to be there to actually do the live presentation. Let's click on save and next. So business as usual, we have a registration page design. We can just choose some of these, whichever ones you want to use. From my testing, just any type of like lead generation page, the simplest ones tend to be the best. I mean, this one, let's look at this one right here. Pretty simple if you ask me, almost too simple, right? But something like that I think is going to be just fine. Now I'm going to end up going with this one. So we can have the registration bar, the bubble, the button or an embed form. I'm going to go with this one right here and launch builder. So it's pretty simple overall, whatever it is that you see, usually you're going to want to go like to a little pen there and just edit it, type in something new, of course, under that's going to be the bullet points and the benefits and everything else that comes along with it. Something else you're going to want to notice, or at least go to is right here on the bottom. So we have the colors and the registration bars, so we can actually just like preview what this is going to look like in terms of what they're going to be entering and so on and so forth. So if you like that one, you can always select this you can go to next. And for this, we can preview this as well, what that's going to be looking like in terms of the actual like coloring and so on and so forth. Not a whole lot going on there in terms of like the design and whatnot, but I'm just going to keep it at save for that. So pretty straightforward. It's not like the most 
robust editor ever. It's more about choosing a template, editing what you have on there, and then going with it. So I'm just gonna go with actions. I'm gonna do save. All right, perfect. And there's a preview of it, just so you know here that like whenever you go to this, it's gonna show and once it's published live, you can actually go there and do the webinar test. So let's go back. All right, so in terms of the registration form fields, we have first name, last name, email, and phone. If you wanted to add this, obviously you can. You can make it mandatory. You can you know, undo that, but I think that's gonna work just well there. Let's go with save. We have free versus paid registration. So in case you wanna actually charge people. So the idea here is that say if someone pays for a product, what you can do is just like do this as a class that's been repeated, right? As in like a previous class and they can actually sign up on this to charge a fee. So that's an idea in case you wanted to do that. Uh, you can do some notifications here. If you want a notification, you'll receive an email notification when an attendee registers to a webinar if you want, and you can password protect if needed. Now we have some reminder emails that you can utilize, which is nice. So they have the sign up confirmation message. There's a pre webinar reminder and a last minute notification. And then of course, post webinar notifications where these are already going to be in here. You can add these extra ones if you want. It's only going to help, right? Because if someone say forgets a reminder or you're just giving them another chance to be able to see it, I think is always a good thing, but these are definitely important ones. So immediately they get it and like 15 minutes we're about to start is a good one. And of course, if you want to add the post webinar notifications, you can do that as well. But I'm going to save this and move on to the next section. Integrations, in case you're curious about that with the email autoresponders. And the good thing here is that if you don't see yours, there is the ability to integrate with Zapier, which allows you to connect with many more email autoresponders and third-party tracking systems. For example, if you wanna put a Facebook pixel somewhere, that's where that's gonna help you out. We have our thank you pages. So we have some built-in ones in case you wanna utilize that. You can use a default one, or you could just use your own custom page. If you wanna do that, obviously link to where it needs to go, but we're just gonna stick with the default one here and click on save. You can utilize surveys. So that's an extra little step in case you wanna do that. So, you know, what's the biggest reason why you wanna build your digital marketing? business, whatever it's going to be, you can get some good information about where your potential customers are at the moment, what they need help with, and so on and so forth. Then we have our thank you page design. I'm just going to go with the, the same one that we have here. We can preview this. Okay. It looks pretty good. Thank you so much for signing up. And I'm not going to run the landing page editor because it's very similar to when you were creating your opt-in page, right? So same thing here. You would just change this around the webinar link and room password if needed. So let's go with that and do next. So here we are with some of the customizations. You can enable autoplay where it's gonna be muted. So when they land on your webinar, the video will play automatically or the video will not play until the user decides to click on the video. Really gonna be up to you which one you wanna choose there. They also have images, they have countdown page design, live content, live chat box, number display number of attendees. Personally, I wouldn't use this one. If it's gonna be an automated one, you know, it's, you know, it's probably not good to say there's 5,000 people on when there's two people on. You can utilize the actual real attendees in the room. So note this option should only be used if you're planning to conduct a hybrid webinar and so on and so forth. So it's very flexible in terms of how you wanna do that. In case you wanna have a live chat box, you can disable that, you can enable it or disable a question box. That's always good because if people ask questions, you can go back and have a webinar and see what they were wanting to talk about. I know I'm going backwards here, but we have our live content, create your first event in case you wanna do that. So there's gonna be polls, file sharing, announcement, sticky messages, product offers, live sales announcements, and of course, redirect. So this is gonna be where like all the fancy stuff happens. This is gonna be very important. Say if you are gonna have a pitch at the end for a product. So when you say in introducing this, it's gonna cost $400, then you can say, this is where you can click on the right for the add to cart button. It's gonna take you to a page where you can check out. So this is great because you can drop it at the specific time when it's going to happen. When it ends is usually gonna be the end of the webinar. And of course, you can obviously link it to where they need to go in terms of the checkout page. So this is gonna be a lot of the bells and whistles here overall. So polls, file sharing, announcements. We talked about that before, but fairly straightforward when it comes to setting up and that's a good thing. Let's hit next. And since we enabled the allow watch instant replay previously, we're gonna to have to turn this on. So yes, we can allow that. It's really gonna be up to you, you know, depending on the settings that you choose. So we have replay controls. You can allow them to control the players or you can just have it be where they're just sitting there watching it through. If there's gonna be an expiration date to it, and once again, allow users to submit questions and let's go with next. And last but not least, we have finished. We can check it out very quickly. All right, so fairly straightforward. I love the simplicity of this. It's like just my style. I love that. It's just, you know, here's gonna be the, the big thing, what it's gonna be all about. We're gonna have some bullet points here, some benefits of obviously watching it and what you're gonna learn. We have the host, and of course, at the bottom, let's click on register. 
And as you can see, we have the title, we have the person, the host, and then we have select date. You can watch yesterday's replay now, or we can wait till a specific time when it starts and so on and so forth. We would register, we would go to the thank you page, and then it would get up and running. All right, and so before I cap off my ever webinar review with my closing words, I do wanna show you how you can get that trial too, given the fact you've watched to this point. So I left my link in the description, and if you click on that, you'll get taken to a page that looks very similar to this. Now, what you wanna do is scroll down ever so slightly and go to the get started or whatever the buttons here are gonna be that where you can get started, right? So click on that. And once you arrive here, you have to be on your desktop. All you have to do is take your mouse and move it to the top of the page like this. And it's going to say, wait, don't leave before you read this. Try every webinar for $1. So that's how you can actually get a 14 day $1 trial instead of actually just purchasing it right off the bat. So you get 14 days to get up and running for $1. And heck, that's plenty of time to actually put together your webinar, send traffic to it. And a lot of times you can start making sales by then, which is always a cool thing. With that in mind, let me cap off this ever webinar review with what I have to say about it and my thoughts and opinions on this ever webinar software. So in conclusion, I would say that every webinar stands out as an exceptional tool that can certainly transform the way you manage and optimize your online business operations. With its robust automation capabilities, flexible scheduling options, and an array of features designed to enhance your evergreen presentations, the software isn't just useful, it's certainly a game changer for your business. Whether you're a seasoned marketer or just beginning your journey, EverWebinar equips you with everything you need to deliver impactful, effective presentations that will keep working for you even long after they've already gone live. So. So this is a software I highly recommend when it comes to creating automated presentations. As you can't tell, fairly straightforward to set up, a lot of bells and whistles, very customizable, and I really think you're gonna like it. Be sure to check it out in the link down below, and if you follow my instructions, you can get that $1 trial for 14 days. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching my ever webinar review, and I will see you in my next video.